Hello YouTube, it's Flu Designs here and I'm coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be colour matching. So um, say you've got animals and like different parts of animals' bodies and you want to <coughs> uh, you know, match the same colour. Uh, there's various ways of doing it. You could use like you know normal tools like Vibrance, you know, bring it down and bring it up with different colours. But I'll show you the way of colour matching uh, on Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop and let's open up just a 1920 by 1080 normal size. And then I'm going to just get the images which we need. Um, elephant. So we get this one, this one. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Let's see there. Okay, so let's go put these in here first of all. So we work on one document. Let's delete them. Okay, so first for this design, uh, this part, we just need to cut out um, parts of this body. So the first part is the belly, the chest, the back. Just cut out that a big circle. That's fine. Then I'm gonna hide that while I do the rest. Now I'm gonna cut out the the big uh, face, the head. And you could get the horns as well using the pen tool. Uh, it's gonna take a little while just getting this out. Uh, let's, go, let's go rough, let's not do it too too good because I don't want the tutorial to be ages, not about the pencil. You should know how to use the pencil right now. If you haven't, then just go to my uh, previous tutorials. It's really easy to do. Alright, let's quickly do this. Yeah, that, that. And then that'll do. Okay, let's cut out that. Okay, so let's go get, get rid of that one. Now we're going to do on this one. So let's resize this so that we can work on it. Oh, so uh, first thing, you get out the. We're going to cut out the boot, the boot, the foot. Okay. All right. So make selection. Let's get it out. Control C, Control V. Okay, so we've got our parts now. So let's delete these. Let's just open up these. Uh, right, I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna reduce this. I'm gonna pretend this is like three different types. Let's reduce that saturation slightly, like that. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna put in a uh, just a simple background, just so we can have something to look nice against. Um, you know, anything really. Uh, speed art. What one? That's nice. That do. It's really nice. I have to use this in a speed art, it looks really nice. Um, okay, so we've got these three bits here. Now, what you would want to do, you'd want to make all these bits the same if you're working with it. Say you're doing this bubble piece that I did, so let's bring in a bubble. Just might as well just show you how to do that as well. Um, so it, let's get the bubble. That one. Okay, bubble. I've got that there. Let's leave it for now. Okay, so now we're going to color match it. So first thing I'll do is you want to get the piece which you want to color match. So I'm going to do the foot first. Now I'll go to filter. Oh, I don't know about not filter. Image adjustments and uh, down the bottom match color. Uh, as you can see, done that. And then down here is the source. Now you want to get the layer which uh, has the color you want. So obviously the head looks brilliant. So you want that. So you, this layer four. So let's go to layer four. So first uh, untitled and then it's done here layer 4 as you can see it's changed it to the foot it's brilliant it's uh, it's amazing it's yeah <laughs> nice no, really good and you can lower the luminance and that just to fit a bit better let's do, let's do it again with the body so again image adjustments match color same again untitled one you could name your file or whatever but I haven't done it yet layer 4 and it'll change to that change the luminance uh, color intensity, you know, all these things. And then that's nice. Alright, cool. Uh, the foot, I'm going to do a little bit more to it, just a little dodge at the top. Just to make it clear that that's the foot, you know, that's the toes. Oop, that's sponge, not good on that one. Burn. Highlights, we want shadows. And you got a nice foot. Okay, so now we're going to put in the bubble. So that's basically this tutorial done, but I'm going to just show how I did the bubble thing. 
um, in one of my Deviant art pieces. Okay, so I have the bubble here. I'm going to change the layer style of the screen just so it looks like a real bubble and not, you know, so clear. So let's put it in the middle of the screen. Now let's work on the head first. So let's put it in here. And then all we're going to do is go to uh, Edit, Transform, and then Warp. And we're just going to warp it inside the bubble. So we're going to do. And when you're happy with it, click. Uh, let's get it here in there. Click the little tick. And then all you want to do is get rid of anything outside of the bubble. So I'm going to get the a soft brush, and it doesn't matter if you're going to go inside because uh, what we're going to do it makes it look quite nice. So with like a 40, 40 opacity, let's get rid of everything. Let's get rid of that there. So as you can see, because I'm going inside of the box as well, it start. It looks like the bubble is having an effect on the actual like head. Um, so as, as you can see there, it looks really nice. Okay, and then we're going to do the next piece, which is the body. Should've done this first, really. Let's get rid of that. Um, now we're going to stretch this whole thing to fit the bubble. So let's go to edit, transform, and warp, and just do it for the whole bottle, whole bottle, whole body, whole yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's done that, and then the same again. It's exactly the same. Just go around it. Get oh, too much there. Get rid of everything outside of the bubble. It's pretty simple to do. Okay, and then I'm gonna make that visible again. And we're gonna just put the foot in. So let's put that in above it all. And you've got the foot. Uh, I missed a bit. I forgot to put that other leg in. Let's just get that leg quickly. I'm not going to go quick. I'm going to go really quick on this just to make the tutorial a lot shorter. Okay. Control C. Delete. So we need to color match this first. So image adjustments, match color. Same again. Untitled. Four. And let's change it to fit. Uh, okay, so we need to get rid of the chain. So uh, on the layer over here, hit uh, your control on your keyboard, and then this little box come up. Click on the icon where you can see the little the the foot basically on the layer, and you can get select the whole thing. Now get your uh, clone stamp over here. Get a big ish brush, and then hit Alt on your keyboard. Click on a selection you want to copy, bang, and uh, let's put it over here. And again, and again. And then you can go the brush smaller and then just start to put in little tiny details. Like over here. Now whatever you like. I would take a lot more time on this, but you can see what I'm doing. Get rid of all the bits that don't make sense. And the chain. So it looks pretty off at the moment, but I would take a lot more time on that. Okay, so let's say that's done, but it's not, but let's say it is. Um, and let's get this, the burn tool, get on shadows, and then just to shadow the side. Not too dark, but. Like that, I'll do. Brightness a bit, and then contrast, I do. And then I'm gonna add um, some feet to this, so let's get, I'm gonna get a brush, layer above, and then white, and just go around here, and then go around here, go around here, and just add to the, to the toes, you know, the white, there you go. Maybe a soft light or an overlay. Soft light, uh, hard light, nope. Soft light, that do. Let's merge these two together. We're done. Put it below the bubble. Um, 180 degrees. Resize. And let's put it below everything. To create the foot sec. Why we see what we're going, what's going on? I think it was like that. Um, um, and then this, uh, just like that. Maybe the other way. Let's form flip like that, and it's going underneath. I got it. Yeah, I got it. 
Okay. Underneath the head. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then just put the foot in. And you've got that. Okay, so then you add to the shadows. So let's make a new layer. Let's go below the foot first of all. Let's get a black. You could just use shadows, but I'm just going to do it with the brush. Opacity about 18%. And just go around until you're happy, really. Now you might want to also go on the bubble and delete parts which are a bit too white. So that you can't see that, and then now you can. It looks nicer. Um, but bits like a little, like not brilliantly done, you can uh, leave it so that it, you know covers it a lot. But you don't want it too, you know, affecting the design of the elephant too much. Okay, so again, the below, I'm just gonna create this nice shadows. Maybe up here. In there. It's nice, and then below the leg, shall we do it? Up there. The color on the leg and the head is not um, matching too much, but you know I would just take more time on it if I was going to do the actual speed art. So below the head, below the ears. Again, to make the new layer below that layer and just making it easy like that. And that's basically it. And then all you would do is make a little nice shadow on the floor. Get a circle, elliptical marquee tool, just draw a little circle like that. Fill it with a paint bucket of black, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then go to about 30. And then reduce the opacity. And then control J to duplicate this layer. And then inside of that, just want to control T and then drag it down. And then lower the opacity again. Just so it creates a little more of a gradient, you know. It's a bit darker in the middle than it is around the edges. And add a nice uh, gradient overlay. Bish, bash, bosh. Uh, another one. And then I'm sure I'll do something else. Add a little bit of orange. Soft light. Now you have it. You have a speed art done in like no time. So how long was that? Twelve minutes. I mean, we've got a finished speed art. So you know you can do it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you want to follow this along, I'll give you all the stuff in the uh, description. Um, this tutorial was also on uh, PSD touch. Just want to make that clear. You know, I just want to show you it and you know get it from there from to here, so it's easier. Um, so yeah. Peace. Hope you liked it. Please leave a like and comment.